Hi, Mr. Devlin here, and today I want to talk about Westy. Yeah, I know, Westy. And basically all the hate he gets, and do I think he actually deserves it? It'd be nice to know what you think. Westy gets a lot of hate and criticism, and I must admit, I give him criticism. I've um, replied to him a lot of times on Twitter. He's never replied, because I know he knows that what I say is the truth. He's called a shill an awful lot, so I wanted to go through the meanings of being a shill and if it does actually represent how Westy acts. A shill, also known as a plant or a stooge, is a person who publicly helps or gives credibility to a person or organisation without disclosing that they have a close relationship with that person or organisation. Shills can carry out their operations in areas of media, journalism, marketing and or politics. Or other business areas, a shill may act to discredit opponents or critics of the person or organisation in which they have a vested interest through character assassination or by other means. In most uses, shill refers to someone who purposely gives onlookers participants or gamers the impression of an enthusiastic customer independent of the seller, marketer or sometimes con artist for whom they are secretly working. The person or group in league with a shill relies on crowd psychology to encourage their onlookers or audience members to do business with the seller or accept the ideas that they are promoting. As we're talking about games, Shills can be employed by game developers and publishers for their professional marketing campaigns. Plants and Stooges more commonly refer to persons who are secretly in league with another person or organisation <coughs> EA, while pretending to be neutral or part of their organisation in which they are planted. Believe it or not, shilling can be illegal in many circumstances and in many jurisdictions, but EA are very, very clever. You see, someone who acts as a random member of the gaming community or a well-known gaming community member is a type of legal shilling, to be honest, because they're camouflaging their own personal opinion with the fact that they are doing it on behalf of a gaming company such as EA. And yes, on occasions, there's the gaming... Um, sorry, Game Changer um, logo on there, and they're actually saying this is on behalf of EA Game Changers, but it's not 100% of the time. Okay, so what I've just said, does that describe Westy in any way or form? I'm going to be try. well, I'm going to try and be constructive, <laughs> well, as, as much as I possibly can anyway, about if this does actually describe Westy. Okay, let's go through the points. Does Westy publicly help or give credibility to EA at any point without disclosing they have a close relationship with them? Well, he more often than not lets us know that he's a game changer and he gets invited to a lot of events uh, sponsored by EA. So, in that case, yes, he does tell us. So, I can't call him a shill for that, can I? Does Westy help out EA within any sort of media, including YouTube... Facebook, Twitter, any part of journalism, marketing their games and the Battlefield franchise in general, or in any of the games that they um, release. Is Westy involved in any of that? Well, yes, he is. So he's a shill in that sense, because he doesn't tell us he has that close enough relationship with them to market their products, of which he does. And like I said, it's not just the Battlefield franchise. Does Westy ever try to discredit opponents or critics of the Battlefield franchise? And any other game, I suppose, that EA is involved in? And let us know that he has a vested interest in doing that through character assassination or basically name-calling. Yes, he does. I've heard him call people really bad names. And Westy, if you want to see it, dick, 
I've got screenshots and I've got screenshots of other people, how you've, when someone's not agreed with you in any way when it's concerning an EA product, you've tried to shoot them down with childish name calling and basically just being totally and utterly rude to people because they don't agree with what you're saying. So does that make him a shill? Yes, it does. Of course it does. Does Westy ever give the impression of being an enthusiastic customer, independent of EA, when in fact we all know he is working for that company? And before his fanboys start, you don't have to be employed by a company full time to actually be working for that company. You could do two days a year. And if you have got paid by that company, you have been employed by that company, regardless what the payment is for. Does that make Westy a shill? Yeah, it does. Do you think Westy ever relies on crowd psychology to encourage other audience members who watch possibly his YouTube channel, don't know why, but if you watch it, to do business with EA or accept the ideas that they are promoting? Well, I think that's exactly what Westy does. Shill! Does anyone out there think that Westy is ever in secretly in league with EA? or any part of their organisation while pretending to be a neutral gamer. I do. Shill. Has anyone ever thought that Westy appears either all too eager to heap glowing praise upon a mediocre, uh, mediocre offering such as Battlefield 5, I'm enjoying the game, but it's not the best in the franchise now, is it? Or who acts as an apologist for EA? Does Westy ever do that? Yes, he does. Shill. So the conclusion is unanimously, well, apart from one, I suppose, that Westy is a shill. He's a shill. Or should we call him a stooge? Because he does look like one of the old three stooges. Oh, there's me with the Westy syndrome doing childish name calling. Anyway, don't forget to like, subscribe, press that bell icon, tick it so you get notifications of when we're uploading new videos. And this is Mr. Devlin, out. Yeah, I'm definitely going to do a video on this.